let's begin uh, our class for today. So hari ni kita mau membincangkan, today we want to talk about uh, solving problems involving vectors that is using uh, Cartesian coordinates. Okay, so since yesterday, uh, kita bercakap bahawa any vector in a Cartesian coordinate, okay, whatever vector that we have uh, can be written in terms of uh, like this. Okay, R equals to xi plus yj. Okay, it can be written in that format. So, uh, the i and the j tells us, i adalah uh, the horizontal movement, okay, ya, yang uh, melintang, manakala j adalah yang pergerakan secara menegak, okay, the vertical movement. X and y are numbers that tell us how many steps and in what direction. If it is a positive number, kalau i, uh, sorry, kalau x lah, kalau x adalah positive, means it's going to the right. And if x is a negative number, it's going to the left. y on the other hand, sebab y adalah bersangkut dengan j, okay, so j is vertical bahkan. So positive y means it's going upwards, negative y is going downwards. Okay, so saya uh, just mau kasih i imbas kembali lah, okay, apa yang uh, kita telah belajar kemarin. And uh, today, I want to talk about the solution of this one. Okay, so kita lihat dulu contoh soalan ini. Ya. Okay, it is given that OP is negative 6i plus j. OQ, okay, so I'm going to draw this lah. So, o, astaga, okay. OP is this. Okay, this is OP. Negative 6i plus 8j. OQ is negative 2 i plus 6j and or is negative 4i okay plus 3j now i want you to look uh, at this one and the coordinates do you see uh, that if mana mana coordinate yang saya bagi kamu bahkan vector daripada asalan from the origin to that point the, we can use the coordinate to write the vector. Okay, for example, uh, let me go back to this one. Let's say, for example, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, let's say, for example, uh, this one, let's say I choose this coordinate over here. Okay, so this coordinate is 4 and 8. Okay, and let's say I call this coordinate P. So, daripada coordinate itu, saya boleh tulis automatically, ya, uh, Vector OP adalah 4i plus 8j. Because the x is 4 and the y is 8. Tapi dengan syarat, the condition is dia mesti bermula dari O sampai ke D. This vector. Okay. So ini adalah, this is what we call a position vector. Okay, dan sometimes kamu akan nampak, you will see this word position vector a lot. Okay, position vector is very easy. Just take the coordinate and remember that it starts from the origin. Origin sampai ke titik P is 4i plus 6, uh, plus 8j. Okay, begitu. So that's why in this example that you see, look, negative 6 and 8, 6, negative 6i plus 8j. Okay. Uh, sorry. And then the second coordinate is negative 2 and 6. Look at this, negative 2i plus 6j. Okay, so the position vectors are very helpful because they also tell us the coordinate from the origin. Okay, so point S is the reflection of point R. Okay, they are the reflection of point R at the y-axis. And the points P, Q, S are collinear such that SQ, and, uh, SQ equals to B, Q, P. Let's take a look at this. Uh. Kalau dia adalah reflection, okay, you learn this in maths. Reflection adalah, okay, kalau dia adalah pada paksi Y, at the Y axis. Means uh, you put a mirror over here. Okay, you put a mirror at the Y axis. Okay. So if I put the mirror at the Y axis, uh, what is this coordinate? What is the coordinate of S? Anybody can tell me? Kalau sini sampai sini adalah for negative 4 and 3, what will be this coordinate? So, dear Chermin. Anybody want to try? 
what is the value of the coordinate of S? Okay, very good. Uh, 4 is correct, but not negative 3. Mana boleh negative 3? Dia masih lagi pada tahap yang sama. Ah, okay, it will be 4 and 3. Okay, so satu nombor saja berubahlah. So, dia mirror, bila dia mirror kan, dia akan mirror satu nombor. Kalau dia pada paksi. Okay, so this question, uh, sorry, this statement, the points PQS, sorry, astaga. Point S is the reflection of point R ini. Sebenarnya adalah maklumat untuk memberitahu kita bahawa S punya koordinat adalah 4 and 3. Okay, very good. So, what is the vector for OS? Kalau S adalah 4 dan 3, what is the vector for OS? Okay, it will be 4i plus 3j. Mesti kita automatic sudah. Of course, dari OS lah. Okay, kita tidak tengok benda lain. Alright. Now, let's take a look at this. How do we find the value of B? So, kita diberi SQ dan BQP. So, we have to find SQ dahulu. Okay, SQ adalah SO tambah OQ. So, what is SO? Kalau OS adalah 4I plus 3J, SO adalah terbalik. Negative 4I minus 3J. Remember, when you change the starting point and the final point, you also change the tanda. Kalau OS adalah 4 tambah 3, SO is negative 4, negative 3. Okay, dia mesti mengubah arah. Okay. So, that's why... Uh, sorry, so SO plus OQ. So SO adalah, uh, sorry, negative 4I minus 3J. Negative 4I minus 3J plus OQ adalah diberi. Negative 2I plus 6J. Okay, then you selesaikan the I. Negative 4 minus 2, you get negative 6I. Okay, and then 3, negative 3 plus 6, you get you plus 3J. Okay, so that's the first one. Secondly, QP. QP adalah QO plus OP. Okay? So QO is the terbalik of OQ. Negative 2I plus 6J, terbalik will be 2I positive minus 6J. Plus OP. OP is negative 6I plus 8J. Okay, so bila kita selesaikan ni, kita akan dapat inilah. Okay, so once we get SQ and QP, baru kita masukkan. Okay. Now, remember the most important thing. Dan selalu ini pelajar akan buat ini. Lepas dia buat ini kan, apa yang dia akan buat adalah, dia akan pindah-pindah. No, jangan. Jangan pindah. Kalau vektor kan, kita, saya tidak membenarkan kamu pindah ini. Okay. I'm going to take this. Saya akan guna cara yang lain sikit lah daripada ini. Ya. So, negative 6i plus 3j. Let me see if I can open this. Okay. So, negative 6i plus 3j. B minus 4i plus 2j. Okay. Equals to B minus 4i plus 2j. Okay, tolong, am I right? Yeah, plus 2j. Okay, so saya tahu dalam jawapan di sana, there is one way of doing this. Now, this is another way. Remember, no pindah-pindah kalau vector. Okay, first kita darab masuk. So, we will get negative 6i plus 3j equals to negative 4 beta i plus 2 beta j. Okay, now, in vector, we can do this thing called membandingkan. Sebab dua-dua adalah vector i and dua-dua adalah sama. So, I can say that negative 6 equals to negative 4 beta. Okay. Atau, kalau saya compare the green color one, 3j equals to 2, ah, sorry, 3. 3, ya. Yeah equals to 2 beta. Itu J kita tidak payah kasih adalah sebab kita membandingkan nombor saja. Okay. Either one of these ways. Ini akan memberi kamu jawapan yang direct lah 3 per 2. 
Ini mungkin lama sikit. Negatif 6 divided by negatif 4 equals to beta. Baru beta akan jadi sama juga. 3 per 2. Okay. Tapi saya lebih suka kalau kamu buat cara begini. Kasih darab dulu masuk. Pastikan there's no more bracket. Make sure that there's no more bracket. And then compare. Okay. No pindah-pindah. Jangan kasih sama dengan kosong. Uh, ini compare ni. Dia memang special lah. It is special only for vector. The chapter is vector. Okay, and that's how you get the value of theta. So we are kind of combining, uh, we are combining everything that we learned, okay, from the beginning of this chapter until now. Ini penghujung bab sudah ini sebenarnya. Okay, <laughs> we're kind of combining everything uh, to what we are learning today lah. Okay, now let's discuss the other three questions. Sementara saya discuss itu, uh, you will see the solution also lah. Okay, so I'm just going to show you uh, in brief. Because actually these three questions are pretty simple. Lah. Okay, coordinates of F, G, H are negative 2, 3, 8, negative 4 and 10, negative 6. Bila dia bagi kamu koordinat, terus kamu bina the three vectors. Because, nah, kau diberi ini. O, H equals to alpha plus beta O, G. So you have to find O, H, you have to find O, F, you have to find O, G. Okay, so we just use the coordinates. Nothing much to it. Okay, budak tahun 2 pun boleh buat ini. Sebab tinggal kau kasih masuk saja ada coordinate di X dan Y. Okay, then what do you do next? You substitute. Okay, substitute the OH in here. Then I minus 6J. And then AOF, BOG. So masukkan OF, masukkan OG. Okay, then what do we do? We selesaikan yang ini. Kita kembangkan bahkan negative 2i times a, so negative 2ai. 3j times a, 3aj. 8 beta times i, and then negative 4 beta j. Okay, this is probably the step yang a little bit complicated. Okay, but actually what is happening here is we are factorizing. Okay. Kita memfaktorkan the i and the j. So, if you perhatikan, kalau saya susun ini balik, negative 2ai okay, plus 8 beta i. Okay, plus 3a, oh, sorry, alpha j minus 4 beta, 4 beta j. Okay, notice that this i and this i is the same. So, that's why saya boleh fakturkan keluar dan saya tinggal ini. Negative 2 alpha plus 8 beta. And I do the same thing with the J. The J and the J are the same. So, saya keluarkan J and then saya dapat 3 alpha minus 4 beta. Now, when you come to this stage, what do you do? Compare. Always compare. Okay, no more pindah-pindah. Untuk chapter, untuk bab ini sajalah, only for this chapter. Okay, so when you compare the I, okay, compare the I's, huh? So you get negative 2a plus 8b equals to 10. So that's where this one comes from. The second one, 3 alpha minus 4 beta equals to negative 6. Nah, ini selalu orang akan di sini dia buat silap lah. Okay, so when you have two equations, you can use simultaneous equations yang chapter form 3 punya simultaneous equations. Okay, you can uh, ungkapkan A, lepas itu substitute, substitute, terus kau dapat B. Lepas kau dapat B, sub, then kau akan dapat A. Okay, so I'm going to give you maybe just one minute to copy this down and then I'm going to go to the next question. Okay, bila kamu salin, tolong fahami ya apa yang kamu salin. If you don't understand, Nanti lepas kelas ini, after this class finish, when you're doing your homework kan, cuba fahami what is happening in this question. Okay? Alright, one minute lah. Okay, let's continue ah. Question number two. The vectors of V and W are non-zero and non-parallel. Okay, sebenarnya we have seen this. Where have we seen this before? Sebelum ni kita pernah ni. Non-zero, non-parallel. Yang balik-balik saya cakap. Nah, ni nah. Page 129. Okay, muka surat 129. Okay, non-zero and non-parallel. 
tapi dia adalah sama. Okay, dia dihubungkan dengan sama dengan. It is connected lah by the equal sign. But both U and V are non-zero, non-parallel. Same situation as macam ni. Okay, V and W are non-zero, non-parallel. Tapi dia bagi situasi macam ni. P minus three V equals to 4Q plus 5 minus P equals RW. Okay, then they suruh kita cari the values of P and Q. Now remember that if it is non-zero, non-parallel, tetapi dia adalah dihubungkan dengan sama dengan, confirm uh, this number must equals to zero and this number, bila kau jumlahkan semua, dia pun akan sama dengan kosong, which is what we get over here. Okay, then after that, okay, sorry. Okay, then after that, P minus 3 equals to 0. So we can get the value of P. So you sub in the value of P in here and then you can find the value of Q. The value of Q is negative half. Okay, let me give you another minute to copy this. Huh? Okay, last question. Huh? So this question is, this diagram shows an explosive exploded into four parts. Okay, vector E, vector F, vector G, vector H. And then it says, each part has a momentum and is represented by a vector. So, setiap satu vector ni kan, okay, ada sendiri. Now, the question is, if the sum of all the momentum vectors is a zero vector, apa maksud sum? Hasil tambah. When you add all the vectors together, you will get the answer zero. So the question is, find the vector W in terms of I and J. Okay, so we add everything lah. The negative 2 plus 4, this is 4I, sini. W, sini. And then 3I minus J, again. Okay, then you settle and settle all the I and J. Then you get this W equals to I minus 3J. 1I lah. 1I minus 3J. So that's the equation settle. And then find the unit vector. Okay. So remember the steps to the unit vector. We discussed this yesterday. Actually two days ago lah. So unit vector, the first step is find the magnitude of the original vector. How do we find magnitude? What do we use? Anybody can tell me what? How do we find the magnitude? Macam mana kita cari magnitude bagi vector? Apa petua kita pakai? Pythagoras theorem. Okay, very good. We use Pythagoras theorem. So find the magnitude of the original vector, and then your original vector itu you divide with the magnitude yang kamu dapat. Okay, so we have done exercises on this. I hope you still remember. So that's why dia punya kira macam ni bahkan. Okay, so let's take it slow lah. We find the magnitude first. Magnitude in the direction of W. Okay, so the number here is 1 and negative 3. So the magnitude of W is equals to 1 squared plus negative 3 squared. The whole thing, square root. Okay, bila kamu kira ini, when you calculate this, you will get 10. Square root of 10. Okay, now because square root of 10, Dia bukan satu nombor yang cantik. It is not a nice number. It is not like 3 or 4. Okay, dia akan dapat point, point, point bahkan. So what did I say yesterday? Kasih tinggal dalam bentuk. Begitu saja. Okay, don't change it. So the first step is done. Find the magnitude. The second one is the original vector I minus 3J. Okay, you kasih bahagi dengan the magnitude. So this will give us 1 over square root of 10 i minus 3 over square root of 10 j and this is the answer okay sama lah actually this is the same thing lah okay cuma dalam bentuk yang berlain so nothing really new okay it's just kita mau kumpulkan we have now we just now want to gather everything that we have already studied before this okay uh to 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 understand this lah Hold on. Okay, let me give you some time to copy this first. So, uh, basically, <laughs> basically that's it lah. Okay, that's it for our class today. Let me give you the homework. Uh. The homework akan datang daripada kertas ini juga. 
okay, from your module itself and not from the textbook because there are quite a lot of questions that uh, we need to answer. Uh, so, okay, so for this one, uh, okay, the first question that you need to answer is question number five. Ini saya wajibkan lah. Okay, question number five in page 136. Uh. Okay, soalan number, sorry, soalan number lima. Okay, so number five plus one extra question uh, in the paper one, uh, paper one ini, yang wajib kamu jawab adalah number lima. Okay, compulsory to answer. And you choose one more question, either number one, number two, number three, or number four to answer. Okay, I give you the choice to choose. Okay, if you are in a study group with your friends and you want to answer the same questions together, also boleh lah. Okay, or if you want to, uh, you know, buat semua soalan, lagi lah saya galakkan. Okay, tapi bare minimum. Okay, paling minima adalah soalan nombor lima plus one question from paper one and one question from paper two. Okay, paper two question ada tiga soalan di sini. Okay, there are three questions in paper two all together. If you ask me honestly, okay, all the three questions dia adalah sama, kesusahan dia adalah sama lah. Okay, the, the, yeah. <laughs> okay, the difficulty level is about the same, which is not very difficult lah. Okay, so one question from paper two. So all together ada tiga soalan yang kamu perlu jawab. Dua soalan daripada paper one and one question from paper two. And saya mau galakkan kamu untuk, of course, try to answer all, although it will take some time. 